Hello everybody, in today's video I'm going to do a tour of my travel altar like I said in my last video. Uh, I apologise in advance if you can hear my chair creaking, I'm going to be really like trying so hard to stay as still as possible but I cannot guarantee anything. So first of all, I've said it in my, uh, it's a tin lid. It's what I burn things on. As you can see, there's still like wax and stuff that I can get off with water. It's metal, so it's not gonna set on fire or anything like that. Basically, that's my heat proof surface that I burn everything on. Don't know why that just says. So, this burlap sack came with some, it came in like a, a basket of tea things and the thing that was in it, it just didn't make sense why it was in it, it was taking up room, it was like, well I'm just gonna take it out of the, the, the bag. So I kept the bag and then I painted these sim uh, runes on them of protection, knowledge, things like that. So the first thing is what was from my last video. <laughs> which is my safety sigil that I made specifically for travel. If you want to know how to make sigils, that was the last video on Friday, so... Okay, the next thing is if you saw my altar tour, this is my uh, grounding spray, which has citrine and amethyst in it, and it's rose water that I, I made for myself. Um, Next is my salt water, which uh, I put more crystals in it to make it more salty because I felt like I didn't put enough in last time, so I really quick just scooped some in. So there's still, they've mostly dissolved, but there's still some there. Basically, so I can cast a circle uh, while bringing the least amount of things so that I'm not taking up room with unnecessary things. It's like, I don't need to bring my, my sack of salt, which will take up so much, much more room of this than this. Uh, I could just pre-make the salt water and take it with me. Obviously I have my wand, uh, which is what I, you know, I need it, of course. <laughs> and then here's my mini altar. This is the box that my tiny little, what's it called, mortar and pestle, my tiny little mortar and pestle came in and I painted on the back the room for travel. And on the top I did just a, a sloppy pentagram and the rest of it's white. It's not completely white. Then on the inside I painted more runes of protection, things like that. So first off I have my happiness bottle. If you haven't seen the tutorial where I made this, check that out. So I'm, I'm, I can set that out. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show you guys like when I'm away how I'm gonna set this up so obviously I'm gonna put my my waters at the back of the space my thing here this will stay this will probably be taken out and put in my pocket or in my backpack so that it just stays with me but it's in here for now then I have my necklace which I, I showed on my alt tour but this is my way of carrying uh, a smaller pentagram around with me and so that I feel like this can resemble my deities and uh, animals with the bird skull and things like that so I just I and also it's a positive thing I really like this and I like to meditate with it so it's like why not bring it it doesn't take up a lot of room so I've put it over there by my salt water this is the uh, roughly where it normally stays on my uh, actual altar so okay next I guess this is my sage that I'm bringing it's just loose leaves that have fallen off of my uh, smudge stick which I could just keep that by the side because I'll need to cleanse the space and then if you didn't know sage uh, doesn't just cleanse negative energy it cleanses all energy so even like even my uh, positive energy is going to be taken by the sage. So normally I burn dragon's blood incense to bring back the positive energies. This is normally a full-sized incense stick, but this is partly used and then I cut the stick shorter 
so that I can just um, put back the positive energy in my space that I'm going to have. So, yes, and I'm pretty sure that where I'm going, my I'm staying with my sister for like a little bit. I'm pretty sure that she has like a really small incense holder that I can borrow, maybe even have. I don't know if she uses it still. Okay, so then I have my uh, sleeping crystals. Oh, hi, Dazzle. I haven't seen you for a while. My cat Dazzle just walked in and is going to be distracting me now. I'm sorry. So here are my sleep crystals. I normally have these by my bed. I have a polished obsidian, a polished lavender quartz, a polished rose quartz, and a polished and dyed with pink dye uh, halite. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how you say that. I really might be just straight up not saying it right. <laughs> but yeah, I uh, keep them in this sack so that they're easy to carry around, easy to hang by my bed, those sorts of things. So these will be taken out and kept by wherever I'm sleeping. Uh, I guess I've bought this to burn and also just to have for protection. This is some marigold and I only put a little bit in because I'm not going for very long. I might end up filling this all the way and then just keeping it in here so that I always have some with me. I find this really effective for bringing me positive energy and protection. So if you couldn't tell because all of my tutorials that have to do with protection and happiness, I, I use marigold. Uh, I have my vial of rosemary, which I picked and dried myself, which is also going to put positive energy into the area. If you can't tell, I'm just trying to stay positive. <laughs> so I'm going to be burning that quite a bit, probably. And here is my polished amethyst. I meditate with this. It's not a palm stone, but I like to put it in my palm because it's quite flat and then it's quite easy to cup in my hands. And it's just for good health and things like that. Uh, and I obviously want... I don't want to hurt myself at this trip, so I figured, oh, amethyst is like a double whammy for me. Hold on. Okay, that's fine. I thought I broke my lighter. Uh, speaking of, my lighter for lighting everything, obviously I need that. <laughs> I had to trim the box because all this stuff meant that these things wouldn't slide in and now there's like shavings of cardboard everywhere. I have this mini citrine, which I have had four years and completely forgot that I had it or that it was citrine because I got it when I was really little uh, my friend had like a bunch of little rocks I don't even think she knew what they were but uh I got she gave me some of them and I was just looking at it one day and I was like that looks exactly like my citrine that I have I have this one in here and I have a bigger one that's always on my altar for solar energy and I'm like well I'm bringing it <laughs> Because it's a very small citrine and then I don't have to bring my big citrine which was taking up quite a lot of room in here. Then I have clear quartz which is just going to amplify everything. So obviously. Then I have my uh, rainbow fluorite which I'm just trying to work on wisdom and things like that. So I thought I've been having this around with me quite a bit. So I'm like well I can't stop that just because I'm going somewhere so I'm going to bring that then I'm not going to get it out because it's actually quite hard to get it back in, but I have a selenite stick, which will go just uh, across here probably. I'm, It's in a quite a small space because um, like of the angle I'm filming at, but yeah, it will go across here. So this is my selenite stick. It's quite large. If I had a smaller one, I would definitely bring a smaller one. Maybe I should look at getting one that's a little bit smaller than that to put in there because this is the selenite stick that I use on my altar. I don't have any other uh, selenite, so... I kind of felt like I had to and I was gonna bring my uh, white and black candles but as you can see they don't fit in my box and by the time I had picked everything out and made everything and whatever uh, there was like no room left in my my box so if where I'm going if my sister has like white tea lights or anything like that I'll be using those but other than that I'm not going to be which might make people a bit like well you're not making an altar space but honestly I would prefer to leave my big candles here anyway because they're so personal to this space and my actual altar and I just feel like I don't want to take them anywhere anyway and like muck up all that energy and everything <laughs> so that's everything and this is just it all fits in very tetrisy. it's all kind of scary trying to figure out how to put it back in but Yes, so I had that big tube 
down, which means I could put my amethyst in my little, my little citrine is so cute. I still can't believe that I've had that for like so long and just not even known what it was. Oh, I don't know why that amazes me so much. Of course I didn't know what it was. <laughs> But yeah, if you would like to see my altar toy, you might uh, to go recognise some of this stuff and uh, hear me say about how I normally would use them on my actual altar, then by all means go and have a look at that video. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and that this uh, helps you with uh, making your temporary or travel altar. Thank you so much for watching, and I will, oh, it's not going to close, is it, for the end of the video, and I will see you, uh-huh, on Friday. <laughs> Thank you, bye.